Hi. Are you already bored with this here go-kart? Would you like to learn how to build your own car? Good. You're in the right place. Now, let's get started, shall we? Okay, so let's go over everything that you're going to need to build this thing. So, first of all, you're going to need two of these Omni wheels. Now, you can only get this with a dev save, and you can get that on mod.io. It's very easy to install, so I recommend doing that. And you get a bunch of other spawnables, one of which is also required for this build. So, you're going to need two Omni wheels. You're going to want to separate them just a little bit, just a little bit, but you want to have them relatively close together and you want to have them perfectly in line here so I've got mine perfectly in line we come around the back you see on this bad boy we got this little lip here and we can line those two up and essentially you can just kind of turn this back here to help line them up and then you weld those together you're also going to need two lovely bottles of Jim Beam now these are basically for just construction only, you're not going to actually put these in the build. Four lovely little cheese cubes, uh, these are Jim Cube Small I believe uh, in the spawner. We've got Jim Block B, now Jim Block B is our base, um, you can have one, I like to have two, I like to have a big long vehicle, uh, but you can use one if you wish. And then we got our balls mate! Yep, we got our big Jim Medicine Balls and these are our wheels and uh, we've got a fun way of attaching these so well, let's get over to that now now you're probably looking at this now and thinking okay this guy's crazy seriously this is going to be what we're going to use to attach our wheels onto the car so what on earth do we have here now we've got four of these hammer shaped uh brick builds and we've got two of the longer ones these are all four bricks long these ones obviously have the horizontal brick here um, these ones have a vertical brick now, essentially what these do is that one will sit on the car one will sit on the other side of the wheel and we'll have one of these in the middle and essentially what that's going to do is that's going to have some sort of like stable archway for the wheel to sit in we'll get back to this later we've got our um gravity plate here and it's a lovely wheel mate let me tell you son it's a real good wheel because you get all the range of motion. It's real good for controlling the Omni way. So definitely get one of those. I have a Noodle Dog sword here. And you're probably wondering why. It's actually so I can mount the wheel onto the end of this with a ball joint. So you're going to want something, anything to prop up your wheel. Um, it doesn't have to be connected to the ground. It can just be a fixed point that the wheel attaches onto. But... I like my Noodle Lord sword, man. It's got nice little fucking roundy bits. And also, we're going to need, obviously, the constrainer tool to link all of this together. So, let's get started, man. Now, first of all, we're going to want to link these bad boys together. Now, like I said, you want to make sure that they are perfectly aligned, as perfect as you can get them. And we're going to link this here, this here, with the weld tool very important read the side you can click the menu button to get through these and we're going to go here and here too i'm going to also going to link these to the ground so that they don't move now we can get on to attaching everything so jim beam honestly i love this game mesh it's like it's like gmod vr and it's uh i'm just having the best time Seriously, just get a bunch of props together. Give me a weld gun. Do you know what I need in this? I need a dupe tool. I have to build this thing every time I want to use it. It is kind of a pain in the ass, but it's also really fun, so I kind of like, oh, I'm going to keep doing it anyway. I'm going to grab your cheese cubes. Chuck those bad boy over there. Come on, son. Whoop. There we are. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pop the cheese cube in front of there. Put another one in front of there. Weld those to the ground. And quite a lot further back, we're going to go about here, I reckon. Yeah, boy. Pop that there. Weld those to the ground. And you guessed it. Yep, we're going to put the beam on top. Drop the beam on there. It doesn't have to be straight. Um, it just has to be on there. 
Got to weld those to the cheese on either side, just so that ain't moving. All right, so you've got your setup ready to go. Now it's time to get these boys onto these boys. So we're going to grab our gym block B, my personal favorite gym block. And we're going to take it right over here. And we're going to try and get it nicely in the middle. Don't worry about it dipping down at the moment. We can fix that nice and easy. Now, ideally, you want to get these a bit closer to the Omni World, but... I mean, I didn't do that, so... See, that's as good as level. Done. The part now that's tricky is just getting this in line. And I guess, you know, I guess it doesn't have to be perfectly in line. Um, you can have whatever standards you want for this thing, but I like to have mine pretty straight. You know what, my child? I think that's pretty good. Pog champ. So I'm just going to attach this onto here. I'm only giving it one point of contact, so it's got a little bit of a little bit of bounce. Um, now it's time to put the second one on, if you want to put a second one on. I do. So go and get gym block B, B, and we're gonna throw her on. This one's a lot easier because you can just kind of, just kind of get in the middle of it here, shuffle it into place. There we go. And then we're gonna weld this together here, just like so. See, look, we're almost done. All right, right now herein lies the tricky part. You gotta get these balls onto this thing. Now, like I said, tricky part. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do this independently of the car so, uh, as to have the best chance of success. Now, obviously, flat ground is recommended for this, only just to make it that much easier. Check the other side here. Bam. I think that looks good. So I'm going to just weld this to the ground real quick. Now here comes the fun part. I'm gonna get these onto the ball. So uh, after the weld tool, if you hit the button once, you'll go to ball socket. Now what you wanna do here, is you wanna find, you wanna determine basically the middle of the ball. So I'm gonna say that's around, just an estimate there, there. And you're gonna to wanna to just stick that on there. And we do the same on the other side here. So I'm going to say middle of the ball, right there. All right. And then weld it down to the ground so it stays up. Same on this side. We weld it to the ground. Now we're going to take our long one here and we're going to put it in the middle. Look at this. Look at me, I'm basically an engineer. There you go. Fiddle this in. Oh, fiddle dee dee. Look at that. Hey, how's about that, son? Come on. Right, so we've got a nice, nice bit of clearance between the top and the ball, so even if this isn't perfectly in the middle, the ball is still going to spin. Um, it may get a little bit higher, uh, but it's it's not going to touch the top, so that's great. So that is one. Done. Let's unlink the ball from the ground here. And we'll give it a quick test. So, look at that. It rolls. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right, now I'm going to do the same for the second one, but I'm just going to skip past that bit. Oh, yeah, look at this, mate. She's bloody rolling. She's only bloody rolling. All right, so the next step is getting this onto the damn car, uh, which is going to be absolutely a walk in the park. So let's just roll this wheel on over. Twist around, get her in there. There we go. Now, I warn you, this could kind of be a pain in the ass. Fortunately, I've done this a few times. So you just want to get the ball onto the ground. Hit the weld tool. Get 
weld the brick on. Another one at the top, just so it's nice and secure. And then, I'm going to get the wheel, just kind of the wheel arch lined up in the best way that you can. And then you want to essentially weld this brick onto the base of the car, so that it doesn't move. But I think we're about there on the on the other side of the car. It doesn't have to, you know, this isn't an exact science, but it's, uh, you know, and again, nice and in line. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, you have built yourself the very base of a car. Well, we can remove all of this stuff now underneath. Um, and I just wanted to take the opportunity to say, I hope people do some stuff with this, uh, this build, you know, I somebody at least will give it a crack. You know, wee. Good thing welds can't break, eh? Yeah, I hope somebody does something with this, you know, builds it into something bigger, into something way more amazing than I ever could have thought of. That is the goal. So please, for the love of God, do something with this. Give it a try, make a big old death machine. I want to mount some guns onto this at some point. I want to do a bunch of different stuff, so. Well, if anybody's got any ideas, you just let me know, son. One thing I would also recommend is getting the bottom of the wheel here, just welding it up to the top, just so that it doesn't move back and forth, um, because you don't really want that going in. Look at this. Look at this. Monstrosity. Absolutely ridiculous. All right. Let's get the wheel on this thing. Okay, son, so this is going to be a little different for everybody. Everybody has their own different preferences. But what I'm going to do for me, and you don't have to do this, this is all personal preference at this point, is I'm just going to put a gym block A down here. It's a nice little tiny gym block. Weld that down on both sides. Something I absolutely highly recommend is the chair mod. It's a wooden chair and a plastic chair. This is the wooden chair. Hang on. This is the wooden chair. It's got legs. It's quite a big chair. It's great, you can sit in it just like a go-kart. What I'm gonna be using for this one is the plastic chair. I'm gonna vehicles, get a plastic chair, and I'm gonna sit that bad boy directly on top of my gym block A. I'm gonna do it, try and do it in the middle ish. Let's line it up a bit. This isn't grabbable, but you know, doesn't really need to be. I'm gonna weld this down. Both sides. <laughs> and then we can get onto this. So, you got your chair. I'm going to sit in my chair, right? I'm in my chair. Now, I'm going to sit this down. Like so. Try and get it nice and in the middle there. And that's going to be... Just a nice big shaft for my, for my gravity plate, for my steering wheel. So I'm going to get up now. Pop another one down here just for safety. Now I'm going to go to ball joint and I'm going to get right into the middle of this, right at the tip. And I'm going to try and place the wheel here in the middle of that ball joint. So that is basically what it's going to do. It's just going to spin, which is nice. And you've also got range of motion forward and backwards. That's what we're looking for. I'm going to weld this in place just so that it does not move. And with it relatively straight, ooh, I'm gonna use entangle rotation right here. So I'm gonna go right to the tip, right to the tip, and I'm gonna go to the top here in the middle of the wheel. Do exactly the same here. There we go. I'm gonna get rid of the welts. So now we've got that nice and done. So I'm just going to take this off the ground and see if we can't take her for a spin. All right, I don't trust myself to drive this thing out. So I'm just going to lift her up, push her out. There we go. <laughs> there she is. She is complete. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, we've got our nice little... Steering wheels, not exactly straight, but who really cares? We've got our Omni wheels here. 
we've got our wheel arches and ball custom wheels. And we've got our seat. So I'm just gonna... I'm gonna sit down. And guess what? Here we go. Oh, <laughs> look at us go! Come on! Look at the back. Ooh. Look at the back wheel. She's lifting off the ground. This this terrain isn't exactly uh, flat, but the wheels are spinning. Oh, jeez! Oh, you gotta love it. You've absolutely gotta love it. Ooh, duck down. Oh, Jesus Christ! Almost took my head off. Look at this. We've got the back wheel spinning back there. I don't know if you could see that. Got that wheel going as well. Yeah, they're really keeping it stable. It's a real... It's actually a really pleasant ride. Can't take your, t your corners too sharply or too fast. But let me tell you, son. It's like it's like driving a big rig. It's, abs it's like driving a bus. That's what it is. Oh, look at that whole lap. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Please, I beg of you, anybody, do something with this. I'm going to do I'm going to make a few modifications to this, I think, and then we're going to take it for a spin. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everybody in between, I give you the Mark 2. Here she is officially designated Mark II, as you can see, we've got some nice cones on the back so people can see us in the road, you know? It's just a, basically a, a, an extra build on top of the Mark I. Of course, we've got some nice walls, I thought, you know, a bit of protection. We've got our old mate back here, Ford. He's in the back seat, he's having a good time. Uh, yeah, look at him, look. Man spreading back there, he's fucking loving it. Right at the front, we've got some nice shields, eh? Got some, uh, decoration from our previous kills, and of course you may have noticed the giant fucking Claymore swords. Look at these boys. Let's take her for a drive, shall we? My goodness. All right, let's hop in. Oh, damn. Th these seats are really good. I'm really enjoying the seats. Um, Ford likes them too, don't you, Ford? Yeah, he loves it, mate. All right, let's take her for a spin. Come on. She's still going, just as good as ever. I should really pick a, a flat track for this because it makes the it makes the wheels kind of go a bit ooh, all over the place. Hey, but we're good. We're going. Look at us. Oh, Jesus Christ! We fitting under that? Yep, we good. <laughs> Do you like my decorations? A coffee cup down there. Nothing in it though. It all fell out. Well, I may have crashed it and it may have glitched out, but the car works. I'm having a really good time in this game and figuring this stuff out. So please share your creations, do some stuff, weld some stuff together, make it go bang. Seriously, it's super fun. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you uh, in the next video. Yeah. <laughs>